hello guys so we have this question let's see how we can go through it it's under vectors find the direction cosines of the following vectors and find the angles alpha beta and gamma that r the vector r makes with uh, the positive x y and z axis so these are the vectors given so let's break down uh, this question step by step okay so this is uh, the first vector given so what we can do first of all is we're going to compare this uh, with uh, the vector form. So comparing this with R, R being Rx, let's say Rxi plus R sub yj plus R sub zk, the component vectors. Then from there, we can clearly see that if we're comparing it with that uh, vector that we've been given, then Rx is simply root two. Ry is whatever we have there. The component there is one, and Rz, the component there is minus one. Okay. Then from there now, we're going to find the magnitude of R. So let's say we can find the magnitude of R. So finding the magnitude of R, the R we're talking about is this one that we've uh, put here. So finding the magnitude of R will be given by the square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared plus Rz squared, like that. So Rx, we know that Rx is root 2. So root 2 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. So the magnitude of R will be given by the square root of, so root 2 squared is just a 2, 1 squared is just a 1, negative 1 squared is also a 1. So this gives us the root of 4, and lastly we have 2. So the magnitude of R is simply equals to 2. We'll come back to that. So to find uh, the direction cosines, we're going to say, let's start with um, the cos of alpha. So the cos of alpha will be given by Rx over R. Now Rx, we know what Rx is. Rx is uh, root 2. So Rx is root 2. The magnitude of R is 2, like that. Let's find a, a beta, so cos beta will be given by Ry over R. R is simply representing the magnitude of R. So Ry, we have 1, while the magnitude is 2. And the last one is the cos of gamma, which is given by Rz over R. So Rz, R sub Z is negative 1, and R in this case is uh, 2. That's the magnitude. So now that we have this, let's see how we can find uh, the values of these angles. So this implies that alpha will be given by the cos inverse of root 2 over 2, implying that the angle alpha is simply equals to 45 degrees. Same thing here, this implies that beta is equals to the cos inverse of one over two, implying that beta is the angle 60 degrees. Lastly, gamma is equals to, so this implies that gamma is equals to the cos inverse of negative half, and this implies that gamma is equals to the angle 120 because this one is in the second quadrant so we have found uh, the three angles let's do the second vector as well so this is the second vector so same procedure what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to compare it to this vector which is r is equals to rxi plus ryj plus r Z K. 
meaning that our Rx is simply negative two, our ROI is positive two, and our RZ is one. From there now, we're going to find the magnitude of R. So magnitude of R will be given by the square root of Rx squared plus ROI squared plus Rz squared. So this will be given as, so Rx is negative two squared, ROI is two squared, Rz is one squared. So the magnitude in this case will be given by four plus four plus one. Hence, this is equals to the root of nine, leaving us with three. So the magnitude of R is equals to a positive three. Okay, so now that we have that, let's find the direction cosines. So we're going to start with um, cos alpha. Cos alpha will be given by Rx over R. So Rx, remember, is negative two. R is three. The next one is cos beta. Cos beta is given by ROI over R. So ROI is two, R is three. And lastly, cos gamma is given by RZ over R. So RZ is one and R is three. So this implies that alpha will be equals to the cos inverse of negative two over three. And this implies that alpha is equals to the angle if I round it off 132 degrees. Here, this implies that beta is equals to the cos inverse of two over three. And lastly, this implies that beta is equals to the angle if I round it off 48 degrees. Gamma, this implies that gamma will be given by the cos inverse of one over three. And lastly, gamma will be equals to the angle, if I round it off, 71 degrees. So there we have it. That's how we find uh, these angles. Thank you very much. In case you have a question, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Have a good day.